Hi everybody, we are working on reverse glass painting and we want to show you step one. First, what you're going to do is find um, a picture frame from the dollar store is fine and you're going to find some images. We're using an old uh, series of World Wildlife Federation calendars and picking out some really pretty pictures that have a dominant image that we can work with. Then what you're going to do is take the glass out of your frame very carefully and you're going to hold the glass over the image. You're going to cut out the image carefully and you're going to then tape with a very little bit of tape around the edges um, to hold the, the image in place around your edge. That's step one. Step two for the reverse glass painting is to take your image that you have taped gently around the glass and then with a sharpie or some kind of permanent marker you're going to outline the image that you want and anything that is black so in a picture where you would normally paint the dark colors first and the light color second and then the detailing last you're going to flip it so you're going to do your fine detailing work as the first thing that you do so I'm going to come back to you once I've got my outline down. Okay, so the next step is that I have now outlined all of my image and the surrounding background. Now, you don't have to do the background. You could have done just the fish and then used, after you're done, a colorful piece of um, patterned cardstock or paper behind it. So what I'm going to do right now, though, is start to paint. And the way that you do this is that you start with your lighter colors first. So we, again, we're doing the opposite. We're doing reverse. Also, I have to warn you, this part where I'm going to begin painting is actually going to be the back of, our, of my painting. So again, this is what makes it reverse glass paint. We're painting from behind. So it's going to look pretty bad over time. But trust me and trust the process. It's going to turn out really cool. All right, I'm going to get started. I am behind. Okay, I've just done the lighter stuff, and now I'm going to start bringing in my darker colors. That's the next step. Okay, so now I've got a lot of my background done, but I'm going to come in with the much darker colors at this point. Okay, I'm now finished with my painting. I'm going to wait for this to dry, and then we're going to take a look at what it looks like on different backgrounds. Okay, so we've reached our last step. Once your paint is dry, you're gonna peel off the tape and take off your image. This is still the back of mine. Once you flip it over, you see the details. Now the thing is, you can see is that I left some, some clear light here. So there's things you can see through it. So you're gonna have to put something behind it. You can either put something, the white piece of paper that came in your frame, or you can do it on a piece of cardstock or something like that. I'm gonna show you how it looks on either option. If I do it under the red, if I put it on this red cardstock, you'll see how there's a little bit of color that comes through like that. It gives you a little bit more of um, depth on some of this purple color. If you do it under the white, it's going to look lighter. So it's really up to you. How do you want it to go? If you're going to do the darker one or any other cardstock, I recommend using the paper that came with your frame to trace and cut it out. Then you're just going to put it behind it and then put it back into your frame the way that you had it. And then that's your reverse glass painting. Thanks. Now here's my fish perfectly done. Well, not perfectly, splendidly imperfectly. As you can tell, I did a lot of detail work on the anemones, tracing out every single one of them. I wanna show you one that I did previously though. On this one of the turtle, I didn't do any of the drawing around the ocean. So the only detail work I did was on the turtle himself. The rest of the water, I just uh, made texturized using my paint. So these are two different ways that you could approach a similar thing. The other idea is to not do your background. I could have just drawn the turtle and painted him and then done a nice pretty blue or green or even pink as contrast color paper as my background. It's really up to you. I hope you enjoyed this craft and make a lot of reverse paintings yourself. Take care.